Day four, cherry blossoms. These five petal delicate flowers actually begin developing the summer prior to their full bloom the following spring. A hormone released in the leaves stops their growth at the end of the summer. Cherry trees use two mechanisms to recognize seasonal change, daylight hours and temperature. A decrease in sunlight signals to the tree to start its dormancy phase. This rest phase is necessary for producing blooms and later fruit. Cherry trees need 800 to 1200 chilling hours where temperatures are below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. After several warm days in a row, the blooms are triggered to begin developing once again. Once in full bloom, these beautiful flowers only last one week. Their short time span is part of the gift for us. The fleeting nature draws people out to enjoy their splendor. Of course, the tree doesn't show off just for our sakes. It's about reproduction. A plant or tree that depends on wind for pollination generally has fewer flowers and often the flowers are duller in color. The more fragrant and brighter the flower, the more bees and birds are drawn to their petals to initiate pollination. The cherry tree is a stunner for nature's pollinators. Reflections. Cherry blossoms need rest before continuing their growth. This rhythm of rest and work seems to repeat itself on many different levels in creation. This sacred dance must be important to God. What fruit blooms when you follow this rhythm of rest and work? Beyond the weekly rhythm of rest and work, Consider how you respond to seasons of dormancy. How is God possibly at work in those hidden spaces during those seasons? Let's read Matthew 11:28. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. In Philippians 1:6. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ.